In today's video, we are going to discuss how APID controller works. Before this, you must know about what is PID controller? PID controller controls any process automatically. It would not be wrong to say that with the advent of PID controller, a new life has come in instrumentation. By the way, PID controller is like this, but PID controller can also be used by integrating it in SCADA. Because by using all PID controllers separately, the system becomes very complicated. And fault detection also becomes difficult. That's why. Different PID controllers are integrated and used in SCADA and then can control any machinery, mill, or plant. PID controllers are used in power plants, sugar industry, chemical industry, paper industry, and in other industries. PID controller means proportional integral derivative controller. In PID controller, you can see set point or set value. SP or SV is written on it. This is the value on which pressure, temperature, level are kept. Value PV means process variable or process value. This is the present value of pressure temperature or whatever has to be controlled process variable is obtained from sensors and sensors are connected according to the connection diagram in the pid controller sensors means instruments that transmit values by measuring them for examples to measure the temperature rtd thermocouple are used to measure the pressure. Pressure transmitters are used to measure the level. Differential pressure transmitters, level transmitters are used to measure the flow. Flow transmitters, flow meters are used. See how easy it is. Whoever has to control will use the same sensor. But you can show these values on the indicators as well. Here, the wonder of PID controller is that it keeps the process variable around the set point. But indicators cannot do this work. Now, let's understand the real work of PID controller. Here, you also need to understand a term error. Because, the whole concept is going on with the error signal only. The difference between, set point, and, process variable, is error. In this image, set point is this, process variable is this, and, error is the difference, and, is, PID controller, is used to minimize, or, zero this error. But, how does the PID controller reduce this error? Have you ever thought about it? Well, let's tell. To reduce the error, an output signal is sent from the PID controller. This is called control variable or CV. Now, because this output is normally sent to the control valve only. That's why some people also call it the position of the control valve. Control variable signal is sent to control valve or variable frequency drive which means VFD. So you don't have to be confused at all. CV is the output signal of the PID controller which is sent to minimize the error. The PID controller keeps on calculating the error between the set point and the process variable due to which the error signal is generated and the process keeps working in auto mode. Now you must have come to know 
What is the need of set point and process variable? PID controller has one more facility, it has two modes. One is auto mode, one is manual mode. By doing this in manual mode, you can send the output signal of your choice, but keep it in auto mode only because manual mode is used to give force signal. If you want to know what is the meaning of proportional integral derivative in PID controller and why they are named like this, then a separate video can be made on it. If you want a video then comment, we will make a video. So, that was our video, thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share. Also, press the bell icon for more uploads and updates. Thanks for watching.